New Chanel, Mama and Gucci, got out the hoop to get yeah. Been through hell, carry the, carry the life is a movie, yeah. We prevail, now we do the coupies, don't do the groupies, yeah. Got money for bail, yo, act like you know me, knock off your coffee, yeah. Flooded the road, you would eat them, pack like a train to the Beamer. Blowing the money like Freema, I got a flex on the sleepers. They trying to do me like Caesar. Hey, I'm Harvey Harrington with Dream Chasers Podcast. Back to do another daily segment. I want I just want to say thank you for everybody, all the feedback that we've been getting. It's been really positive. Uh, people are really starting to support what we're doing on a day-to-day basis and supporting our podcast. I'm gonna start doing some behind the scenes stuff, but that's coming. But I want to talk about role players. Role players can get scholarships too. All right. Uh, every kid just feels like you got to be the number one person. You got to be the best scorer. You have to be the focal point to get to college. And all those things, some of it, yes. I mean, out of, out of everybody that plays and goes to college, there are blue chippers. There's the Zion Williamsons. Um, there's the, um, uh, I can't think of some names, the uh, uh, Kate Cunninghams. I mean, there, there are guys that or, or girls, I mean, you know, you got some of the top girls like Maya Moore and Diana Taurasi. I mean, these these uh, particular players are blue chips. And yes, um, they made it because they had abilities that's better than everybody else. But what about for the rest of us? What about um, a kid that can possibly score, you know, maybe eight to 10 points a game, but can rebound, can defend, can, um, you know, throw assists, can be high energy. What about that person? Well, there's opportunity for you as well. One thing you got to do, you got to make sure that your grades are right. Keep your keep your grades high. Um, make sure that um, in the, the classroom is taken care of. So when somebody asks, hey, you know, what's your SAT store scores or what's your ACT scores? You should know those things. And, and once you achieve it, you can say, hey, I, I'm already good you know, to go there. That's something that'll put a lot of college coaches at ease. They want to make sure that you can get your grades and that you can uh, handle the classroom. Then um, always, always continue to work on your craft. Like I, I get it that maybe you're a role player right now and that's okay, but continue to work at it. I mean, if, if, if uh, defensively is a struggle for you, work at it. Rebound, rebounding is a struggle. Scoring is a struggle. I mean, continue to work to get better. But every single program in the nation from uh, men's and the women's side, they need role players. They need people that can rebound. I know you probably watch some, some NCAA games and you see some players and you're like, well, I don't see what this person do. They don't really do anything. Well, yes, they do. They bring energy. They rebound. Um, they're a good teammate. They're positive. Um, like I said, I mean, I go back to energy again. Energy is a huge part of basketball. If you can bring energy and you can help your team climb up out of a hole or you can help your team when they start to sputter, help them to push push the team forward to win games, you're very valuable to that team. And coaches recognize that. Role players get scholarships too. So be good at what you do. And continue to work on everything else. And I'm pretty sure that it'll work out for you. But grades have got to come first. Hey, I'm Harvey Harrington. I want to thank you guys for watching. Dream Chasers, we out.